Hello Libra, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for all your likes, shares and subscribes and welcome to the channel. This is a general reading and it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, there's a playlist for November on my channel uh, with messages on there and you might want to look at your moon and rising sign for greater clarity. But please take what resonates and leave the rest alone. We've got expect miracles. Now, miracles are whatever you consider a miracle to be. It could be your challenges ending. It could be your manifestations coming to fruition. It could be unexpected people or events. Whatever you consider this miracle to be. Something coming out of the blue you didn't expect. Discovery. Now, we're all on a journey of discovery here. Um, there's a heart chakra there. You can see it. You hope you can see it. It's the heart chakra. Okay? We're discovering what makes us happy here. And acceptance. Now, the one thing we need to do is when we're manifesting our goals, we have to accept that where we're at is where we're meant to be. Uh, and that can sometimes be difficult. But we're discovering what makes us happy anyway. And it's accepting that, like I say, we're meant to be where we are. Things go at their own pace not at our pace. Now, I'm not going to take that, but there's a decision that needs to be made here. If it's meant to come out, it will do. <laughs> and it's about taking a leap of faith towards brand new beginnings. But if these cards are meant to come out, they'll come out in the reading. That might just be a wee extra message here about put, making a decision to take that leap of faith you've been putting off. So that might be for some Librans. The Queen of Swords. The Page of Cups, the King of Cups, beautiful sunshine card on the Discovery card. We're discovering what makes us happy, like I say. The overall energy is the Emperor, the Ten of Wands, the Knight of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Five of Pentacles. Now. When I'm talking about accepting where we're as we're meant to be, this is what I was talking about. Now, fives are change for me. They bring in change. Now, we're feeling here as if we're in a place of lack and we're feeling left out in the cold. So we're focusing on here what we're lacking. Now, if we do that, all, we, all that happens is that we attract more lack. That's the law of attraction in the universe. It's inevitable. So what we want to be doing is to bring in change. We want to be looking at these pentacles. If these people go into this church, they can seek refuge. There's always things that we can still build on that are around us. So we're looking about how we're going to bring stability back into an area of our life. Now, it could be there's been disappointment in your finances, your relationships, your environment or your job. But there's still things that we can build on. So we need to change this because what Spirit's saying is your challenges are over, Libra. You're coming to the end of challenges. And what's happened here is you've learned loads. These are all lessons, soul lessons. Whether you've learned it through environments, people or situations, you have grown and you've discovered a lot about yourself through all these lessons that you've learned so that your challenges are ending now. And it's about accepting that where you are is where you're meant to be. And it's time after a challenging time that might have been disappointing. You might have felt disappointed. It's about looking at your pentacles and how we're going to grow and how we're going to go forward. Now, this is about moving towards what we're passionate about. We've learned here what we like and what we don't like. So we want to be moving towards things we're passionate about here that we can grow and flourish in. Uh, so we want to be in jobs that we can, uh, you know, that we can, we're inspired to do so that we can bring in promotion and we can bring in better money, salary increases. We want to be doing, studying things uh, that we're passionate about, new creative ideas. We might want to do that. Uh, you want to be in relationships with people that we're passionate about us and we find attractive and they find us attractive. I don't just mean that in a skin deep sense, I mean in an all-round sense. So whatever this is, it's moving towards passion and creative energies all around. So it's time to take control. It's time to get in the driving seat and it's time to get back in control of things now after disappointing times. Take control, look at these pentacles and decide how we're going to build them. Now this could also be somebody with a lot of knowledge that could come in that could help you. So go towards your passionate ideas. So it could be a, a counsellor, it could be a teacher of some sort that's going to help you grow. Uh, whatever it is you're studying, you're going to grow and you're going to flourish and you're going to learn. Uh, it could be anybody that's given you any kind of professional advice in that sense as well. Now, 
this could be somebody coming in and telling you how they feel about you. So it could be a, a Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius energy that comes in and explains to you. They might have, you know, feelings for you here. It's the chance of a new opportunity for love. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio energy as well. But something that starts out as a friendship could end up as a romantic relationship. This could also be somebody who's a fr who's younger than you that's got feelings for you as well. So there's things coming in here that this could come out the blue. Now, one way of ending our burdens and moving forward and taking control is that we might have to take on this Queen of Swords energy to do it. So if we're wanting to focus on our pentacles and there's been disappointing people or situations and environments in our life, we might have to take on this Queen of Swords energy when we're taking control here. I'm looking right down this this uh, line of cards here. She's somebody who's very intellectual. She comes from a very intellectual place. She's not emotional. And she's showing you exactly which path she needs to go down. And the way she's done that is she's decided. She's discovered what makes her happy. She's discovered what she needs in her life. And she's discovered what she's, what she's passionate about. So she's cutting out situations and people that no longer serve her, that bring disappointment to her life, that feel her left out in the cold. And she's deciding which path to go down that she's passionate about so she can build her pentacles here. So you can expect miracles to happen here. Things can come out of the blue when you're in this beautiful energy, when you're prepared to take control of things and start to go forward and focus on what it is that you genuinely want. Now, she doesn't take prisoners and she can sometimes communicate what it is. She might have to stand up and say what it is that you want. Um, and some people say she can sound quite cold and calculated, but it's not about that. It's about being clear and honest about how good, clear communication about what path you want to go down to bring your happiness in here. And this can lead you to a very, very happy place. You can become emotionally happy again. You're more stable again. You're coming away from all the disappointments here. Your challenges are ending and you're becoming into this very emotionally stable person. Now, this could also be somebody coming into your life that's emotionally mature. Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio energy, a very loving, caring person. It could be a good friend. It could be a good boss. It could be somebody, like I say, a tutor or somebody who's helping you that cares about what you care about. Now, this, if it's a romantic person, this is somebody who's emotionally mature. They're in control of their emotions. They don't necessarily wear their heart on their sleeve. They don't express their emotions, but they certainly feel it. So beautiful things are ahead here through discovering, through being through challenges, what's for you. And what's going to happen is you're going to come into this beautiful sunshine energy here. Um, with joy and happiness. The planets are aligning. There's happiness in every area of your life. Now, it could be as well if there's somebody who's unreliable in your life that's fleeting in and out. It's about accepting that as well. There could be a time that you might have to accept this person for who they are. And if you want to, they're leaving you disappointed here. You might have to make a decision over them. And if it's burdenous or challenging, you could be putting your, you know, your challenge to bed in that sense. So anybody that's fleeting, a romantic partner or a friendship that's unreliable, if it's causing you any kind of upset, you might have to make a decision about that as well. But this is about you coming into this beautiful Queen of Pentacles energy, who's very stable, caring, nurturing. This is somebody you could set up a home with if it's a romantic person. So we've got everything on the table here. This could be a Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn energy. I'm not one for signs. I know people like to hear them because I think we can take on any sign at any time in our lives all the strengths are capable of being everything so it's more the titles i'd be drawn to but i know the way they set up the channels that it's about signs people like to identify with signs so that's why i do it this way but this is somebody who's very nurturing and caring you could have a home life with or this is you going towards what you're passionate about and creating beautiful stability within your environments you've invested in growing your pentacles and you'll be able to enjoy your home comforts here so very caring nurturing type of person as well are you coming into that energy? We'll just take a fairy message here. Motivation. Motivation. When spring approaches, the, fa the flower fairies urge you to spring into action. If there's something you've been merely thinking about doing, then get busy and do it. Spring into action here. Absolutely. The challenges are over now. And it's about you getting back in the driving seat now and going towards what makes you happy. I hope this helps. Uh, Libra, please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.